I also, guys, want you all to know that when I'm bringing in these new energies that are available, they are kind of discordant with the energies that are already in my physical body. So there is some discomfort and, at, and there is some pain as I try to, uh, as I do, incorporate these new energies into this body. Because my particular 3D body has spent the majority of its time in the third dimension. So the energies that are running this body and have been running this body have been vibrating on the third dimension, lower vibrations. As I incorporate these new vibrations in, then basically I'm incorporating these, these new energies into my body how can I explain this well and fitting them in where they belong and then I'm basically tuning my body up to match these new vibrations so you know how I say that there's a range like this that my physical body has to increase that range as well when I came into body I was raised I was vibrating higher than what the norm was for 3D. And that is the reason why I've never been very um, graceful here. Um, and things haven't worked as smoothly as it would with, say, a long-term human. So the vibrations have been difficult for me to operate. Well, now that these new vibrations, I've brought them and allowed them and asked them into my physical body, then I'm having to incorporate these higher vibrations that are even higher, plus I'm tuning the vibrations of my physical body into these new vibrations and raising them all together. All of this energy work that I'm doing is somewhat painful. It definitely feels like a flu, feels like... Um, a little draggy at times it feels like all of my muscles are sore or cramped up as I move this energy through my body sometimes my eyes blur sometimes I get um, headaches different kinds of headaches and I never get headaches I've never gotten headaches my whole life so this is new and there are different kinds of headaches and all of this now I can see as energy moving through my body I've I've had for years and years I've had back problems but that is like definitely it feels like the uh, the back problems that I've had are kind of like massive Charlie horses that have been in my back all along and they're un it's like massaging a Charlie horse so that it's just gradually going away it is painful you know how if you have a Charlie horse and you massage it and it hurts even more there for a minute and then it starts to go away that's what it feels like especially in my back somewhat in my hips but mostly in my back but there is a lot of of uh of energy hold on a second incorporating these new energies is definitely affecting my physicality and it is somewhat uncomfortable but after i get something done and it's very complicated and there are a lot of energies involved but I can tell when something is running smoothly and it is it feels so much better also I've noticed that my vision is 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 better in kind of weird ways it's uh, sharper sharper I have very very bad vision like I can't see my hand clearly in front of my face it's like bad fingernails um, can't see it very clearly in front of my face. And now I can see clearer about two or three feet away. I don't know if it would be noticed on a on an eye exam, but I can definitely tell the difference since my vision has been something that I've really noticed in my life over my whole life. And uh, yeah, and today's the second. I think I've got less than a week and I'm going to be 58 years old, two years away from 60. Unbelievable. It does not seem like I've been around this long. Anyway, I wanted to give you guys that update that you might be, if you start incorporating 
these new energies and allowing them into your body, you might have some discomfort and you might share that with each other because uh, all of that will be incorporated in different ways. And some of the problems that you all have had, especially those that have dealt with chronic pain, you might have a little bit more of a discomfort, which might, you might have that you starting to allow it in and having a, a spike of increased pain that might pull you back from allowing them. But I want to encourage you that if you'll keep going and push through it, the, on the other side of that is much pain release. So try to allow that. There's a lot of guarding with the people that have been in chronic pain for a long time. Or um, even mentally, there's a lot of guarding. And that's what I see whenever I see a lot of fortresses put up that you've created, uh, like you've got a physical body that's got problems. So you put up ways that you've dealt with the pain for a long time. And that's kind of, you've gotten it to the point where you've, you can handle it. So you put up these walls that will not allow that pain energy to move out. And now that this new energy is here and, and you can allow it to move through and out, you have to be able to take down those, those guards, all of those ways that you put in place to deal with the pain or the pain of living, the guards that you've put up in dealing with life in your physical body. You're going to have to take down those guards and allow that energy to move through and cleanse and raise it up to the next frequency. Okay. You don't have to do it all at once. You can do it in an area at a time. Certainly if it's too overwhelming to do it all at once, but you can do it in an area at a time. Physically, you can do it an area of your body at a time. As long as you understand consciously that that energy has been kind of circling and circling and it needs to, you need to open the windows and let the air go through and let the new frequencies in, let them mingle with the old energies, raise them to the higher frequency and allow yourself to get to a better place. And that's with your life as well as your physical body's issues. All right. Makes sense. I hope. All right, guys. Huge hugs. I love you so much and I'll talk to you later. Bye now.